the NASCAR Center. And uh, it's a good workout. The device itself is a 25 foot arm, uh, but it's, a, it's an 8G per second onset capability. Today, you're going to have the F 18C cockpit module. I've been through a few centrifuges in my time with the Blue Angels and while I was in the fleet in the Marine Corps. It's a lot of work and a lot of times you end up either G-induced loss of consciousness or you're just, you're just not really concentrating on what is going on in the airplane. So we're here to see if this Phoenix is really going to live up to its name and be a, be a better trainer and be a better centrifuge. Yep. Oh yeah, there she is. <laughs> it's a familiar looking machine. You know, I think uh, uh, what we got to be careful of here, because it's going to feel so much like we're flying the airplane, we're going to be tempted to, uh, to move our head. And over to you to test that. Yeah, well. Let me know if I can turn my head. I don't know. Yeah. You know, we don't want to take away from, from flying the real airplane, but the most we, if we can ever find something that simulates exactly what it's like to fly missions you know, in the airplane is something to train with. It just makes our overall performance better you know, once we do get into an airplane. We particularly with the Blue Angels don't fly with G-suits, so today that was the profile we were flying with just a harness with no G-suit. So we could come in here and evaluate as to whether or not is this a viable trainer to come in and get a realistic feel for G's in an F-18, uh, specifically without a G-suit. There he goes, lock him in. Inside this little capsule, we've got Lieutenant Commander Craig Olson, his call sign is Merlin. He and I have flown together quite a bit as solo pilots in the Blue Angels. We're here evaluating as to the realism and how this actually feels compared to an airplane. You'll see as Merlin decides to, as he's pulling more and more G's, the faster the pod will spin, and that's how the G's get increased, and he feels a little bit more of that weight, a little bit more of that push in his seat. Right now, it's more of around a 1G atmosphere. He's going through a takeoff maneuver right now, and as he gets airborne, we should see significant differences to how fast he gets spun around inside the centrifuge. So at 1G, here he goes, he's rolling down the runway. You know, normally off of, a, of a, just a regular routine high performance takeoff, we're seeing maybe five and a half to six Gs on the initial rotation from flying. Now here's Merlin, he's basically done the split S. <laughs> and uh, he's, he's reeling it back around, you can see he's coming through the bottom of the loop. Nice, Merlin. He loves it. I think he's laughing, smiling already, so it must be good. Getting right up there in the G's, you can see he's sustaining two G's right now, and he's moving his head around, kind of like we talked about earlier, we were a little um, concerned, because as you are you know, spinning in the centrifuge, a lot of the feeling that we used to get in our, other, in our prior experience with centrifuges is that you get the, you know, the inner ear kind of gets all screwed up, you know, as you turn your head in the centrifuge, but it looks like Merlin's not having any issues with that. Look at, you know, he's under increased G as the arm, ten, you know, as it spins up. Yeah, that's, uh, that's got to be a full seven and a half G's there. <laughs> you know he's working hard on that one. And what you're doing is basically starting at your toes, you're curling your toes, tensing your calves, tensing your thighs and you know to make you know long story short you're taking your your butt and you're trying to crack a walnut everything in your lower extremities from your waist down is is rock solid now one thing i know about merlin he can get this big cheshire cat smile on his face he does that when he gets out of an f-18 we'll see if he does it when he gets out of the train okay. merlin, how was it? well i survived well it was really good actually <laughs> you know, I'm glad you, uh, number one, I think it's good. I think it can be great. Did you leave anything left in there for me? How long was I in there? Like 35 minutes. minutes. I thought it was going to be a while. Yeah, it looked like it was the real deal. Well, the great thing about it is the notch is part of a normal centrifuge. With a couple of little tumbles here and there, it wasn't yeah. bad at all. All right. Um, well, I look forward to it then. Oh, 
looking forward to watching you. Great. Yeah. Enjoyed it. All right. It's entertaining. Thanks, Thanks man. Enjoy All right, sir. Flight. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Let's do this. <clears throat> you want on the right side? Is that That's right? Fine. Everything else works like it uh, yeah. should in the real jet. Man, it looks like it. Okay, any questions? You comfortable? I'm good. I think I'm all strapped in. I'm ready to go. I'm fired up. Okay, going up title. Okay, you'll be flying. Uh, I'm going to clear you to maneuver in about 20 seconds after we start the simulation. Okay, uh, you're clear to uh, start this. Uh, <laughs> I better not go there. I don't. I don't know if I should get in that one. <laughs> I don't think he's really flying. You know, <laughs> to its to its potential. Is, which is, I think, really a problem with other centrifuges or trainers that I've been in, you don't really feel that at all. Right. And this is so much like the real, uh, like the real airplane. And you get it just holy, it's, like you see there, it's a little choppy, just with little movements of the stick, it's a little choppy, but other than that, you know, you're hanging at minus one. I love it. <laughs> Alright, this one will go in at 450 knots and see how she sustains. Gee, here we go. Really, really cool. <laughs> Love it. 